Hello, I'm Josh George. I'll be breaking down week six college football. We're going to start with Missouri and South Carolina. Drew Locke against Will Muschamp's defense. I I think it's a good matchup, but this week I think it's going to be the week of the quarterback. And Drew Locke, he's the guy from Missouri and the better quarterback in the game. Missouri beats South Carolina. Then to the next game on the slate of games here, we've got Boston College at North Carolina State. I think this is a really good, two really good teams. North Carolina State still undefeated. They'll need Ryan Finley to be really good at quarterback. I think he has a standout game, and North Carolina State beats Boston College. Then in a rivalry game, Florida State at Miami. Francois is going to be under a lot of pressure all night, and I think I don't think he has his greatest game. I think he throws a couple interceptions or has a couple turnovers, and Miami beats Florida State. Then to Kentucky at A&M. It's at home for A&M. Kevin Mond has looked really good at quarterback at home. I think he has a really good game. I know Mark Stoops has had a great team and his team is really buying in this year but I think they're I think it's upset time man I think it's time for a humbling experience maybe maybe they're not ready to go into the big environment anyways I'm picking Texas A&M to beat Kentucky then to another SEC matchup Auburn at Mississippi State this is one where which quarterback is going to play better? I think it's Stidham, and I think Gus Malzahn's offense has potential to be really potent. So Auburn beats Mississippi State. Then to Notre Dame at Vatek. Vatek has been really interesting. They lose to Old Dominion, come back and beat Duke. Now a chance for a huge upset. I just don't think they have the talent right now. To beat Notre Dame, certainly not on defense, and it's the week of the quarterback. So Ian Book has a great performance, and Notre Dame beats Vatek. Then to an interesting matchup, Air Force and Navy. Air Force is on a three-game skid. They'll need to win a rivalry game to correct that, but it's against Navy. Huge, huge rivalry game. I'm picking Navy to beat Air Force. Then to the next game on the slate of games, Cal at Arizona. I think this might be the Pac-12 game of the week when you think about it. Arizona favored by one point. Cal Berkeley really needs to bounce back. I think Cal Berkeley can bounce back and Cal beats Arizona. Then LSU at Florida. Burrow really solid at quarterback. Franks has looked pretty good too. Uh, Coach O and Dan Mullen, I think, are two really great head coaches. I think this is a really intriguing SEC matchup, It's but it's in the swamp, and it's kind of a trap game for LSU because they might be looking ahead to Georgia next week. And a tough road environment, a team you can't overlook in Florida. So Florida upsets LSU. Then to... The game of the week, OU and Texas in Dallas, the Red River rivalry. Huge game, special teams could be a big factor, and Texas has had the edge in special teams the last couple of years, but OU has brought up their special teams level and really evened it out. It, turnovers could be the decider. Uh, Boucher hasn't had a turnover since they played Maryland and lost. And Kyler Murray has two INTs. He had one against Army in which they almost lost. But I think it's the rushing game. And that edge right now is for the Sooners. On 55 carries, Sherman has 249 yards. And for 70 carries, Washington has 280 yards. So OU beats Texas because of their rushing offense and then 
a game that will be really interesting to watch, Iowa and Minnesota. I think it has could have a big impact on the Big Ten. I think Iowa could still mix things up. I think Iowa will beat Minnesota and continue to roll and prove that they are a decent team in the Big Ten. Then my upset of the week. Wake Forest plays host to Clemson. Clemson's got a confusing quarterback situation. We don't know if Trevor Lawrence will be the starter. I think Wake Forest has a better rush defense than Syracuse. I know Wake Forest offense has been a little topsy-turvy. They only scored 23 against Tulane, but 56 last week against Rice. I think they get the better offense, and I think they find a way to upset Clemson. I'm Josh George. This is Week 6, College Football.